like for me it's it's haunting every single day you know it leads back to you had three days of her complaining and you, they continuously dismissed her, um, her symptoms Like I've never seen anyone so beautiful and I don't think I could ever find anyone like her ever again. She was the most open-minded, sincere and honest and charismatic person you could meet. So Aisha was calling the nurse every few minutes telling her, look, I have shortness of breath, like I feel like I can't breathe. But she dismissed it. I laid next to her and like her fever, she was burning hot. Then a doctor comes in, these are her words, like I don't forget it. We're concerned something's wrong with you, you're sick. While Aisha was in the hospital, she acquired an infection. The bacteria that caused Aisha's infection is called Group A Streptococcus. So this particular bacteria, especially in women postpartum can behave very aggressively and a small number of women can progress and lead to death in a very short time period. They just see me and my wife as another statistic and I told them that at the meeting that my wife is not a statistic. It's not just going to be another number. I'm not going to rest till I find answers. The last thing that she said to me, you know, she's, she said I love you, I'm like I love you too, don't worry you'll be fine. And she's asking about the baby. You know, who's with him? Like, that's her only concern. Who's with the baby? I'm like, don't worry, you know, get better and you can hold the baby. Isa, look, who's here. Look, so look, 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 look. Like Aisha, yeah. he has really big eyes. You know, I look at my son and it's hard because he doesn't know what he missed. So, it's not, it's not easy. I hold him, I love him. Like I, I, I play around with it, but it hurts me every every second. As I'm just walking down the hall, it's just like a barely 10 second walk to where my parents and everyone were. And then the nurse chases me, who was with Aisha right now? Who is with Aisha? You need to come with me right now. I'm like, is she okay? She's like, no, it's not. You need to come, you need to come. I rushed back. No one stopped me. I started to do CPR on my wife. It like felt like eternity, you know, every second. Then went by, I'm crying, I'm telling, I'm doing CPR to the point that, you know, eventually after some time, they pulled me and they said she's not coming back. So I started like screaming and asking for answers and everything, and everyone just disappeared from the room. Like it's just the way that she left everything. She left her diary, like she was to write a diary. That's by the bedside. Like this is the drawer that she had for the baby. Like everything's literally the way that it was. Like it just, I can't even tell you how much she was looking forward to the baby. This is for my birthday now, um, in June. And then just 52 messages inside. But she, like I can't express what type of person she was. Go away, I should have personal box. And like it has like contents of like everything that I've ever given her, sent her or anything. Like all the cards over the last eight years. Like, I, I don't have it in me, like, to... I'm gonna step up. Yeah, yeah. We discovered that it's not just me. So many other countless people in Ontario, let alone the rest of Canada, are going through this. Whether you start from the bottom, from regulations, to even the structure within the hospitals, to management. Something needs to be done to contain this, because it's not right. Oh, there. Maybe smiles.